folks, Captain Mike here from Hoagie Lure Company. For today's Hoagie How To, I want to talk about stripers keyed in on squid in the rips. And today we were using the Hoagie Charter Grade Popper in five and a half ounces, stemming the tide and swinging the rips. So today we were rip fishing. And the key to rip fishing is to get to the spot at peak current velocity, because that's when the whole food chain is alive. Now the striped bass were keyed in on squid. So what we wanted to do is replicate what was going on. And what was going on is there was plenty of squid in the area getting swept down tide over the shoal. The stripers were laying in ambush, attacking these squid. So the approach we had to use today was to stem the tide, positioning the boat in front of the rip, perpendicular to the rip, and gear just enough to maintain a stationary position with the boat. Now that we're stationary in front of the rip, we want to fish the swing. And what that means is you want to cast up tide into the smooth water and start working that popper as it gets swung into the rip by the current. And just as the lure approaches the edge of the rip, you're following textbook. And if the stripers are following the textbook, you're going to get crashed and you're going to hook up. And you can have a good hour and a half fishing this way, again, at peak current velocity, just a little before, just a little after, stemming the tide, lots of action. Now my retrieve in this situation is a very standard popping retrieve. Um, I would call it a medium popping action and a medium retrieve. We just want that bait to look alive as it swings down with the current. Now here's the outfit we we're using today. Now you'll notice this very visible amber colored, translucent amber colored charter grade popper. And the reason why I like the amber, you know, with little pink details is it greatly imitates an alive squid in its natural habitat. Now these fish are fairly aggressive. I wasn't worried too much about leader strength, but in today's case, I had 25 pound test fluorocarbon leader connected to a medium heavy hoagie system inshore outfit with 30 pound test braid. Now we were targeting fish in the medium size striper range, the slot size 28 to 32 is what we we're getting today. So I like a heavier outfit in this situation because we are bucking some current and so we want to have the boat position in front of the rip. If at all possible, I want to land the fish quickly without drifting back over the shoal, hence the stronger outfit. Now in this case, the Hoagie System medium heavy rod. When I say medium heavy, it's plenty strong to handle big fish and big plugs, but it's still very lightweight and fun to use. So it's not overdoing it, but it's the responsibility, it's the responsible thing to do to the fish to land it quickly. And it's also the prudent thing to do as an angler to minimize drifting over the rip where the entire food chain is going because you don't want to spook and disrupt uh, the, the situation that's going on. Now, speaking of the right thing to do for the fish, you'll notice in this video that I swapped out my aft hook on my popper for a flag. And why did I do this? Well, I want to just, I'm catching and releasing today. I don't want to harm any fish unnecessarily. Stripers tend to hit from the head. So it was really no big deal. With my split ring pliers, I just unscrewed the back hook. And with my regular pliers, just compressed on this hook and we were in business. And one thing I noticed today is we caught plenty of fish. We missed very few fish. And I honestly don't think our catch rate went down. I'm a big fan of participating in any citizen science programs that are out there. And 
Today, we are very happy to participate in the Massachusetts Department of Marine Fisheries Citizen Science Project, studying the survivability of striped bass. Super easy to do. All you need to do is track a couple of times from when you hook the fish to how long it takes you to release the fish. Notice a few details about where the fish is hooked, how it's hooked, how it swims away, and get a picture of the fish to log all the atmospheric details because all the information is located inside your phone, the metadata of the picture. Super easy. We logged four fish today for the science program. And it's super useful to understand the survivability of the species so our kids down the road will have just as much fun with these striped bass as we will.